Belarus preparing to attack Lithuania together with Russia. The Belarusian intelligence telegram channel writes that President Alexander Lukashenko is preparing to attack Lithuania together with the Russian Federation. The troops of the Belarusian president will be assigned the task of attacking Vilnius. The channel says the following. We managed to get some very fragmented information regarding Belarus's participation in the attack on Lithuania. Here is what we know from our sources. The operation is being prepared in full cooperation with the Russian armed forces and direct combat involvement of the Belarusian armed forces. We know that the armed forces of Belarus will be directly involved in blocking Vilnius. Vilnius is to be encircled by strikes in the southwest and northwest directions by the forces of the 201st and the 5th separate brigade of the army. The 120th brigade is partially moved as the reserve. The experience of the Kyiv 2022 operation has been taken into account. The troops will not go in massive armored columns, but only in small mobile groups with the widest use of sabotage and reconnaissance tactics, taking into account the terrain and camouflage capabilities of the area. The operation involves the full range of units of the branches of the Belarusian Armed Forces. Fire support is provided by combined heavy and reactive artillery brigades and combined units of the tank companies. A separate tank company battery takes up positions in the immediate vicinity of the city centre and deploys a tank company with a special unit. In essence, Vilnius is taken hostage and becomes an object of nuclear blackmail. The strategic planning of the operation aimed at deblockading Kaliningrad region has moved from the stage of staff games directly to the stage of joint strategic planning with the Russians. The sources name a probable time frame of 25, 26, 27 years of depending on the geopolitical situation and advise the Lithuanian authorities to take a number of preventive measures. There are no guarantees that something like this will happen, but if it is on the maps of the general staff, then the probability of the situation developing in this way increases. Zelensky cannot understand how Trump could solve Ukraine conflict. Former U.S. leader Donald Trump claims that he could end the Ukraine conflict in one day if he returns to power is not credible. President Volodymyr Zelensky has said. In an interview with Fox News, Zelensky was asked about the Republican presidential front-runner's promise and responded that he can't understand how Trump would achieve such a goal. He can't solve this problem. This tragedy with me, he stated, reiterating his invitation to Trump to visit the front line. Zelensky suggested that if Trump were to travel to Ukraine, he would be able to see what's going on and change his mind. The former U.S. president previously said it would be inappropriate for him to visit the country at this time as he did not want to create a conflict of interest with the administration of U.S. President Joe Biden, which is currently dealing with the crisis. Earlier this month, however, Bloomberg reported, citing an advisor to Trump, that Washington could potentially push Kiev to engage with Moscow by threatening to cut massive U.S. military assistance. He reportedly added that Russia could be swayed to enter talks by the threat of ramping up aid to Ukraine if it refuses. The former U.S. president has vowed to end hostilities within 24 hours if elected. Ukrainian Air Force reveals remaining A-50 aircraft in Russia. In Russia, fewer than eight long-range A-50 radar detection aircraft remain. One such aircraft was destroyed February the 23rd by the Ukrainian Defense Forces, reports Air Force spokesperson Yuri Inat during a televised marathon. The successes we have today, this extended arm, the ability to reach the enemy where they absolutely don't expect it, speak to the fact that the adversary will have fewer capabilities in this direction after losing the A-50, he said. The spokesperson noted that the destroyed aircraft had been modernized. As explained by Inat, the A-50 is essentially a radar that can observe and scan, detecting all aerial targets within a radius of 600 kilometers and identifying electronic warfare systems. We need to look at the intelligence data. The head of the main intelligence directorate, Kirill Budinov, said there were eight aircraft before this. Not all of them were operational and not all of them were modernized. So. There were only a few of them left, Inat added. 
On February the 23rd, Defense Forces of Ukraine reported that a Russian A-50 aircraft was shot down over the Sea of Azov. This is the second A-50 that the armed forces of Ukraine have destroyed since the beginning of the war. According to the main intelligence directorate, the A-50U is a new modernized version of the aircraft. The cost of the destroyed aircraft is $350 million. The Russians used such an airborne command post for long-range radar detection, control and guidance for strikes against Ukraine with missiles from strategic aviation.